All right, what we're going to do today is write an equation in point-slope form that comes from a word problem. All right, now this is going to be similar to what we've done before with the, with the slope-intercept, but this time we're going to be using point-slope. Read the question. In 2002, there were about 56,000 golden retrievers in the United States. In 2005, the number was 68,000. Write an equation in point-slope form that represents the number of golden retrievers G as a function of the years since 2002. All right, so first it's asked for point slope. And so the first thing that we should do maybe is just write out the point slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. All right, now the next thing that we should do is we should read and understand our problem. Obviously, as time goes on, we're increasing the number of golden retrievers. So understanding the problem is important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to define our variables. We know we're going to have an x and a y. We know that the y depends on x. So we have two pieces of data, the thousands of dogs, the number of golden retrievers, and the year. So which is the dependent variable? Hopefully you decided that the number of retrievers depends on the year. Now it actually asks for years since 2002. All right, so now in the end it also asks us to use a G for golden retrievers. So in the end that Y needs to change into a G. The X we can just leave as years since 2002 since we've defined that to be X. All right, so what we do want to do next is we want to take this particular problem and we want to say what points do we have from the statement? Now you can write those as points. A lot of people like writing it as a table where they have X is the year since 2002 and Y being the number of golden retrievers. So X being the year since 2002. In the year 2002, how many years is that since 2002? Well, zero. All right, and then Y is the number of golden retrievers. Now it says 56,000, but I'm going to put 56, and then I'm going to say, okay, this is in thousands. Okay, that way I don't have to keep writing 56,000 and 68,000, all the other big numbers that we're going to end up with. All right, so now we've got that. Our next point is in 2005. How many years is that since 2002? Well, hopefully you got that that's three years, and so now there's 68,000, okay? So 68 would be the number of retrievers in thousands. So now we've got two points. Now, this is important because, of course, for the point-slope formula, we need to find a slope. Now, getting slope is pretty easy from two points. We've done this lots. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so that's going to be 68 minus 56 over 3 minus 0. 68 minus 56, of course, is 12. 3 minus 0 is 0. So that gives us a 4. So our slope is 4. So now I'm going to rewrite my equation. But of course, since I'm putting 4 in for the slope, I can go ahead and put a point in for these as well. It doesn't matter whether you put in 0 and 56 or 3 and 68. We usually, usually want to choose one that's going to make things easier for us later on. So I'm going to choose the 0 and 56. So I'm going to go minus 56 equals the slope, which was 4, times x minus x1, which is 0, right? So the 0 is the x value from that point, and the 56 is the y value. So this right here is acceptable for A. Okay, would it be nice if we simplified? Yeah, but at this point it's okay. Let's go on to letter B. I'm going to rearrange this into standard form. Now standard form, of course, is AX plus BY equals C. So we need to get the X and Y on the same side, number one, and we got to get rid of the parentheses. So let's get rid of the parentheses. First, let's write it out as Y minus 56 equals 4 times, and then X minus 0 is X. So that's just going to be X. So now we want to make sure the X and Y are on the same side. So let's subtract the Y, and we've got negative 56 equals 4x minus y. The number in front of the x is positive and a whole number, so therefore we have standard form and we also have point slope. Ta-da!